Good morning, third graders. I'm at a learning lab today, so I'll be teaching you with a video instead. Um, we've been making bridges for the three Billy Goat Scruff. Today, you will not be working on your bridges. Instead, we are taking a break to do something very important. I'm sure you are all getting excited to test your bridges. You will have to take your bridge all apart right after you do the official test with the real Billy Goat and the brass weights, um, even if it fails. So before you do the real test, you should do what's called a preliminary test. That means that you'll test it at our tables before the final test, and you'll need to test it with some objects from the steam room so that you can see if you need to make some changes to your design before the final test. So what could we use to test our bridge? It has to be something we have a lot of and something that always the same and which would be easy to stack onto our bridge. Um, we also have to have some in the library um, so that we can do it. You're right, we're gonna use crayons and crayon boxes. Okay, so here's the task for today. You're going to use the balance scales and some math to figure out how many crayons it takes to equal the billy goat. You will have to figure it out with your team. So you'll be going to your team tables. Um, I will tell you some things you need to know. First of all, weight can be measured in ounces and pounds or grams and kilograms. The billy goat and the troll brass weights are ounces and pounds, but we only have gram weights for everyone to use at their tables. So we're gonna need to do some um, thinking to figure out how many crayons it takes to make the goats and the troll. So the little billy goat weighs four ounces. That is 113 grams. So your gram weights have numbers on them. The first thing you need to do at your table is find the gram weights and then add them up to 113. And then you'll be ready to use your scale. So the first thing you need to do when you're using a balance scale is to make sure that it's balanced. We have several different balance scales in the library. I'll show you how to use each one and how to balance it now. Okay, so we have these blue ones, blue and white ones, and um, they have an arrow right here on them. Um, and you want it to be pointing right down the center um, to, to know that it's balanced. And if it's not, then on the back, there's this little slider that you can adjust one way or the other until it's balanced. Okay, so I'm gonna do that really quick. Mm, and it's not balanced. You can't see it. <laughs> okay, once you get it balanced, then you can start actually using it. Okay, so that's the blue and the white one. Um, this um, red one is very similar. It has the needle um, that points down and you want it to be balanced in the middle. If it's not, then you just use the slider on this side to get it to balance evenly, okay? And once it's balanced, then you can start using it. Okay. We also have these yellow and red ones. Um, if these ones aren't balanced, um, if, if the little arrow thing right here isn't dead center, then raise your hand and get one of us to help you adjust it. I tried to make them all balanced already for you, okay? Um, then we have um, just a couple of these um, that have the, um, the baskets in them. And these also have the, the slider that you can use to adjust um, if it's not balancing properly, okay. Um, and it has a little indicator right here that you want to get it balanced, all right? Okay, I'm gonna use this one to show you what to do. So I've got it balanced. The arrow is pointing straight down. Um, the slider's on this end if I need to adjust it, but I don't, it's just fine. So now I'm gonna get out my gram stackers and I'm going to get 113 grams. So um, this is 50 right here. So I might need more than one of those, right? Um, you know what I'm actually gonna do is show you how to do one ounce instead of four ounces. So one ounce, is about 27, I'm just gonna round up to 30 grams. So 
I'm gonna get out 30 grams with my stacker. So um, this says 10. Mm, this one says 20. So if I put 10 and 20 together, then that's 30. And that's how many one ounce, about one ounce is. Okay, so now I'm ready to start putting my crayons in this side. And I'm not gonna just dump a whole bunch in there, okay? I'm gonna count as I put them in there. Um, and I'm looking for um, really good looking crayons like these. Um, there are some like half crayons that would really affect my answer. If I put in half crayons, then I wouldn't really be able to tell you how many crayons it was. So I'm just gonna use the whole crayons for now and see if I can get it to balance. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, it moved a little. Six. Okay, do you see how it's kind of balancing out? I'm gonna take a look and make sure that the arrow is pointing straight down. It is. So that's six crayons. All right. So. 30 grams equals six crayons. Now I'd be done if I needed to do one ounce, but your task is actually to do four ounces, which I told you is 113 grams. So the first thing you need to do is make 113 grams out of these, okay? And then you can use the crayons, all right? Um, after you do that, if, if you are really excited, because remember, that's just the little billy goat. If you want to figure out um, the middle billy goat or maybe even the big billy goat, possibly even the troll, <laughs> um, you would have to do some math because we don't have enough crayons to do all of that. <laughs> but, um, or actually what we don't have is enough gram weights. We run out of the gram weights. So... Um, you'd have to figure out how to do it with math. And I'm not going to tell you how to do it with math. You're going to have to figure it out. Okay? So that is about it. Um, you will be using your team tables with your teammates to do this activity. Um, you do have to share gram weights with the other team that's at your table. So um, figure out how you can do that. Um, if you have questions, make sure you ask. Um, you do have a worksheet that has... Um, all of the directions on it. So I think you have everything you need to do to get your work done. Please get along and uh, keep your voice level down. All right, good luck and uh, watch and keep. <laughs>